Welcome to the highlights from round seven of the Foz Rock Super Six. We're delighted to bring you highlights from three games in what was the first full card of fixtures in 2020. To start with, we're heading to Myerside for the top of the table clash between Watsonians and the Ayrshire Bulls. Having lost last time out against the Bulls, Fergus Pringle's side certainly proved their point with an emphatic win, putting clear daylight between themselves and their nearest challengers for top spot. The Bridgehorn next, where Stirling County hosted Herricks Rugby, both sides going to this one fairly evenly matched. A late Ross Jones penalty snatched the victory for the visitors, ensuring all four points went back to the capital in what was a really tight 80 minutes. Finally, we're heading to the Green Yards where the Southern Knights hosted a repeat of last Friday's fixture with the Bermuda Bears. Commentary from this one comes from Stuart McFarlane and Alistair Houston. Good afternoon and welcome along to the Green Yards. We're here in Melrose, our first visit this season and the spectators making their way in this afternoon for our live coverage of the Southern Knights against the Borough Muir Bears. Baggett with a long pass out to Anderson. Anderson's got face and time. Is he going to be caught in the line? The referee signals the try is good and Anderson is in. That's Patrick Anderson, the right winger for the opening try of the game inside the first 10 minutes. Lovely prodded kick through there from Hutchison Anderson's after it. Is he going to be in for try number two? He is. And that was simple stuff there. Scrum half and right winger linking up, and it was all about the delivery of that grubber kick through, played through by Struan Hutchinson after it was Patrick Anderson, and there uh, he was. Uh, grounding the ball almost in exactly the same spot as he did five or so minutes ago to get his opening score. And this is incessant Southern Knights pressure as another pod forms here, planted back. Ball carrier is always taking it. And yeah, to and on the line is a try. And that looks like Grant Shields, who's crossed the try line for the third score in this first half for the home side to take the score to 23 points to three with the conversion to come. And we've played 35 minutes of the game. 
Back with Baggett again. Oh, that's charged down and Jordan Edmonds, an opportunity for Edmonds. Edmonds playing a little bit of football, is able to gather and he evades the challenge coming in there from Fraser Thompson. And that's uh, a real mistake there from Baggett, but a uh, great play from Edmonds because he, he remained on the front foot there. He closed down the fly half. It's one well. That's it. Uh, Clean take. Work it round the back, then get Greg Canny into play. Canny does well. Canny deceptively strong, carrying up and over that 22. And Canny is indeed in the corner. A wonderful score there from the bottom of your inside centre. That's exactly what they were looking for at half time was a quick response to get themselves right back in the game. And it was Greg Canny leading right from the front there, scoring a very well executed try. Carries on towards the, the back of the line this time. Rennick then joins in the drive. Ball hasn't quite made its way back to the replacement uh, hooker, but the drive looks good. Have they grounded the ball cleanly? They, they have, have indeed. It cleanly. No problems at all there, no spillages. And the Southern Knights have tried number four to take them to the 30 point mark. But I'm here though on the attack at the moment as Southern Knights having to a lot of defensive work, Fraser Rennick back to his feet there just now, just trying to get in the way of this latest drive, you can see how close these Buttermere Bears are to landing a third try in the game of the grounding on the line, it appeared to be a successful grounding, the referee has raised an arm now, it was pretty much right on the line, and Delacotte is the last man up with ball in hand there the score tonight, 32 Bears 20 Jerry As now Hutchinson again on now towards Galbraith. Galbraith just piles his way through there. Tom Galbraith, how about that? That's surely the score that ends Boromir's hopes of an almighty comeback. And 37 points to 22, the scoreline. And it does look as if the Southern Knights will do the double on Boromir. Yeah, we've seen it. The ball's at the end for us, okay? We don't do Comes back towards Simprich again. McCallum goes to ground, he picks himself up and that nice little offload again. Straightens up here, good work here from the outside centre. Taken with power there, running care out towards the, the Buttermere fullback. Lovely offload from the fullback there to the right winger, falls on towards Gray. And that's an excellent try, superbly executed there by Buttermere. The way he took those tries under pressure, thought correctly. Uh, Kieran White gets the, the Fosrock Super 6 man of the match for this, this game. No, still in the same mold. Very well deserved indeed as the ball now just played up towards that try line again. Have they successfully grounded the hard? That's just icing have. on the cake for the Southern Knights. Takes them over the, the 40 point mark. Let's bring this contest to a close and again that Superbly looks an absolute struck. belter. Wonderful strike. No Jason problems Bryant. at all. The referee Finlay Brown then draws proceedings to a close. So the highest scoring match in the Fosrock Super 6 ended in victory for the Southern Knights with 10 tries being scored in total. Back to back wins for the Knights over the Bears has lifted them off the foot of the table and up into fourth. Heriots maintain their spot in third, while Spotsonian's victory over the Ayrshire Bulls extends their lead at the top. That's all for this week. Make sure you tune in this Sunday, where we'll be at Milbury, where the Ayrshire Bulls host the Southern Knights, live on Scottish Rugby TV. We'll see you then.